if you are new, don't forget to subscribe right here. Or you can just scroll down and there'll be a little red subscribe button that you can just click and you'll be subscribed for future videos. But anyways, I have about 16 different liquid lipsticks brands here, so I am going to be letting you guys know my thoughts on these. And I'm going to rate each liquid lipstick brand either 1 to 5, 5 being the best and 1 being the worst. So let's just go ahead and get into this really huge review. All right, so the first brand that I'm gonna be talking about is a drugstore brand, and that is the Revlon one. This is the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick, and it just looks like this. This Revlon Liquid Lipstick is $10.99 at Ulta, and the color that I have here is called Ultimate Orchid. And I have to say that I am not a big fan of these liquid lipsticks at all. You can kind of see here in the swatch that it's not really pigmented and it doesn't apply evenly. So you have to apply multiple layers to it because it's very patchy and uneven. And it's just not the best liquid lipstick at all. I'm going to be completely honest. It just isn't even. It's patchy. I don't like it. So out of one of five, I give it a one. Okay, so the next brand is from Laura Geller, and that is the Luscious Lips Lipstick, and this is a liquid lipstick from Laura Geller. And the shade that I have is called Cherry Almond, and these range for $21. You can get this at Ulta, and this shade is absolutely gorgeous. It does not have a complete matte finish. It is a very semi-matte finish. It is kind of, again, semi-long wearing. It's not super long wearing, but you definitely can apply it, and it's actually really comfortable. So if I had to rate this from a one to a five, I would rate this one probably about a three because it's not my favorite, and it's not like perfectly matte either, and it doesn't wear for a super long time, but it is a gorgeous color, and I have to say that they are very comfortable on the lips. So yeah, I basically give this one about a three. Okay, so the next brand is a Dose of Colors, and these are $18. They just look like this. Really, really pretty packaging. I really like that. And the colors that I have are Truffle and Bury Me Too. Truffle is an amazing color. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this shade. It is a gorgeous nude. Really, really pretty. And then Bury Me Too is just a gorgeous berry shade. Perfect for fall. There it is right there. And I have to say that these are raved about a lot. I've seen a lot of people wearing them and loving them. But when I put them on, I didn't like them at all. They were really thick, really crusty. I remember wearing Truffle in one of my videos and I was just dying to get to the end of filming so I could take it off my lips because I hated the way it felt on my lips. It was just really dry, it was really crusty, it wasn't comfortable to wear. And I feel really bad because a lot of people do rave about these and I just don't understand why. I don't know if I'm a little bit more for like the comfortable wearing liquid lipstick and not just the really dry and crusty kind. So don't hate me if you love these. Remember, these are my opinions and this is just how I feel. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Dosa Colors. I'm sorry, but yeah. So if I could rate these, I would probably rate them a one out of five. Yeah. All right, so the next brand of liquid lipsticks are the ColourPop liquid lipsticks. And these are a great deal. These are only $6. Yes. And this is what the packaging looks like. Really just gorgeous, you know, your typical liquid lipstick packaging. And the shades that I have are Clueless, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. right there, really, really gorgeous mauve, kind of a dusty rose. The next color is called Kapow, and this one is another gorgeous color, and I know it's a very popular color. It was sold out for a while. It's a really gorgeous kind of gray brown. And then the next color I have is called Midi, a really gorgeous kind of pinky nude. This is hard because my pan has like, I have a bony hand, so this just doesn't work. But there's that right there, that's Midi. And the last color that I have is called a beeper, which I believe is another really popular one. And that's kind of a darker, darker nude. And that's it. Ooh. And that is it right there. These are really gorgeous colors and ColourPop has a great color selection right now. But I have to be honest about these. There are some colors in this collection that wear better than others. For instance, 
do not get midi. Midi does not wear well at all. It's extremely drying, really kind of crusty on the lips, kind of flakes. It just is not a good shade. But Beeper is completely different. Beeper was actually a really comfortable color on the lips. I really liked it. You just put a very thin layer. The bad thing is, is that after four hours of wearing them, they do flake. They do kind of crust. So you can't wear them more than four hours. So I don't recommend that and also do not reapply them. Bad news. But this one was comfortable on the lips for the first four hours. It did wear well. I did like it. It didn't fade on the inner part of my lips. It lasted for a long time. So I really like this one. I think it's a great color for only $6, which is awesome. And the other ones are also good ones, but it's just like it's such a hit and miss with these ColourPop ones and the fact that they don't wear more than four hours and then they start flaking, you're gonna have to carry like a makeup remover, towelette or something to get it off your lips and then just reapply it, but don't ever stack it on. Not a good choice. But I have to say, these are good liquid lipsticks if you do not want to spend a lot of money and you just want one for cheap and that's $6. I think these are way better than the Revlon one that was $10.99 at the drugstore. So I definitely recommend the color Beeper. Just stay away from Midi. So if I had to rate these a 1 to a 5, I would give these about a 2.5 and, and that's because it's such a hit and miss with the colors and they only last 4 hours and they start getting crusty. So if you are out and about you're kind of screwed. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why I only give them a two and a half. But if you really want to try a liquid lipstick and you don't want to spend 20 bucks on a liquid lipstick, I definitely recommend ColourPop. Just make sure you stay away from Midi. I think the darker colors wear better than the lighter colors. So that's just a little bit of my advice. You can take it if you want to, but yeah, I definitely think the co darker colors wear better than the lighter colors. Oh, also, I wanted to add in there about the ColourPop, which is the con, is that these are very liquidy. And when I was applying it, I had it turned a little bit and it literally just spilled out. So that's one thing I didn't like. I thought it was just a little bit too liquidy. Okay, so the next one I'm going to talk about is the balm. And this is the Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lipsticks. These are $17. I actually got this little one right here. I'll show you. It's super cute. I got this in my Ipsy bag and I have been dying to try the liquid lipsticks from the balm. I just never ordered it. I don't know why, but I've been dying to try these and I have to say that I am loving it. And by the way, it smells like Thin Mints. It smells really good. Okay. So this is just an, an so this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. This is the color called Committed super super pretty these are very comfortable on the lips they are long wearing so i definitely recommend the balm so if i could rate these from a one to a five i would give these about a four and a half because i still have some favorites that i have to save for the five stars okay so the next brand is called stila and these are the stay all day liquid lipsticks and the color that i have is called dolce and it looks like this it's a gorgeous, gorgeous brown right there. Really, really pretty. These are $24, and I actually owned the spring collection where they have the silver lids, I believe, but unfortunately those got stolen from me, so I went and picked this one up, and I have to say I love this formulation way better than the spring collection, so I definitely recommend the ones with the black tops. And the ones with the black tops are very comfortable on the lips. They're not too drying. They're very long wearing, so I really, really like these ones. I just don't like the spring collection because I remember I had those and I wasn't much of a fan, especially rosé was extremely drying. The other darker colors wore a little bit better than rosé, but rosé was just like, mm -mm, wasn't having it. So I definitely think that the ones with the black tops are a little bit better formulated than those ones. So definitely go check these ones out. These are really good. So if I could rate these a one out of five, I would give these about a four because again, it's kind of like a hit or miss with the colors and I hate that. I wish that the formulations just kind of stayed consistent, you know, within a brand, but this happens a lot with brands with liquid lipsticks. Some will always wear better than others. I hate that. Just keep it consistent. Okay, so the next brand is called Girlactic and these are the matte lip paints. I have the colors Demure and Allure. Demure, I've heard a lot of people like kind of rave about this color, like, oh, you should get it. It's a gorgeous color, which it is. It definitely is a gorgeous color. Oh, first off, that's what it looks like. Really, really pretty. And then you have Allure, which is more of a pinky, a mauve shade. And it looks like that. 
gorgeous, gorgeous colors. These are $23. You can find them at Rite Aid and other stores. So go to thegirlactic.com and you can kind of do the store locator where you could find these in stores. So they're available in a ton of different beauty stores. So definitely check that out. These are pretty nice. A lot of people rave about these again, but when I was applying Demure, Demure went on very patchy on me and very uneven. I just could not get it to work for some reason. I don't know why, but I've seen people wear these and they look gorgeous on. So I don't know what went on with that, but these are pretty, these were kind of drying. They weren't like super drying, but they were pretty drying. So if I could rate these, I would probably give these about a two and a half because I wasn't completely thrilled with them and I still have other ones that I love. So yeah. Okay, so the next brand is called Butter London and these are the Lippy Liquid Lipsticks and this is the color top. This is what the packaging looks like. I just picked this up at Ulta. Super cute. I didn't even know Butter London made a liquid lipstick so I picked this up. And again, this is the color top. So this is the shade top and as you guys can see it has a very very glossy finish i didn't really feel like this was a liquid lipstick i actually felt like this was more of a lip gloss it really reminded me of the anastasia beverly hills lip glosses because as you can see it is super pigmented like super pigmented but it felt like a gloss on the lips so this really wasn't a liquid lipstick i just didn't wear like a liquid lipstick it just reminded me of a lip gloss so if i didn't mention already these were 18 dollars at ulta but yeah, I don't know. This was more like a lip gloss, not a liquid lipstick. So I'm only going to give this a two and a half out of five because it reminded me of a lip gloss. But I actually really do like it, just not as a liquid lipstick. Okay, so the next brand are the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. And the colors that I have are a Mother and a Double Dare. So let me show you Mother. Mother's a gorgeous color. Oh, I love it. So, so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. And then Double Dare has more of a coral tint to it. Super gorgeous, kind of like a bold coral tint. Really, really pretty. These are only $20 and you can get them at Sephora. And I have to say, one of the pros about these that I really love is I love how long the applicator is. It's like a super long stick and I don't know why, but it just made my application so much easier to apply and to really make it precise. So I really like the applicator on this. And then also, I really enjoy the formulation of these. These were very thin, lightweight, weren't drying at all. Like it didn't feel like super drying your lips. And they were thin and lightweight and super comfortable to wear. But I have to say the con to these is that the color faded immediately on the inner part of my lip. Like it wouldn't even go there or stay there longer than like two minutes. I, I wasn't eating. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't even talking. It just faded and it just started looking really weird. And if you follow me on Snapchat, I showed, it was like a while ago, but, but I showed you all how it looked like right after I applied it. And I was like, this really sucks because I really love the formulation of these. It just for some reason wouldn't stay there. And a lot of liquid lipsticks actually fade in that part of your lips, which kind of sucks, but they usually fade over time or after eating or drinking. But these faded immediately. I couldn't get them to stay longer than the two to five minutes. So that's one thing I just didn't like about them but they are gorgeous. The formulation is great besides that one little mishap right there. So if I could rate these a one out of five, I give these a three because I really do love the colors. I love the formulation. I love how they feel on the lips. I just hate how they fade right there. <laughs> okay, so next up I have the Too Faced Liquefied Longwear Lipsticks. And if you guys watched my swatch video, I did a whole swatch video of the spring collection. I'll list it down below for all of you. But again, those got stolen. I know. So frustrating. So I went and picked up a couple more and then I also got this one in a gift set that I showed in my holiday sets. And so the colors that I have, I have Melted Sugar, which is one of my favorites. And the reason why I explain in the video is because you can mix this color with any other liquid lipstick in the brand and it will just kind of tone it down and, and it makes it just a little bit more like able to wear out through the day so you don't have to wear a super bright liquid lipstick. So yeah, that's why I love sugar. It's also the most gorgeous nude, but remember you can mix these, which is awesome. Also, these are $21 at Ulta or Sephora or Too Faced.com. And the next shade is another gorgeous color and that is a melted nude. Super, super gorgeous. I love it. It kind of reminds me of 1993 from Urban Decay. That's another gorgeous one. And another really fun one is called a melted 
big. And oh, this is gorgeous. Just look at that. Oh, you are such a gorgeous purple. And the last shade is called a Melted Peony. I remember I had this one. And it's just a really pretty kind of, it's kind of like a dusty pink because it's not like, well, it's showing super bright on there, but in person, it's kind of more of a dusty color. It's not like super, super bright, but it's a very wearable pink. And it would look gorgeous if you put a little bit of melted sugar on top to kind of tone it down. Really, really pretty. So first off, the good things about these, they are very moisturizing on the lips and they are very comfortable to wear. I really like to wear these. They are very, very comfortable on the lips, but I have to say that the applicator on these, let me grab the bigger one. The applicator on these right here, you can see that it's really thick and really hard to get a precise application. So I definitely recommend using a lip brush and also make sure you are using a lip liner. Too Faced has one that's like an invisible lip liner or you could get their glossy lip primer, which works amazing. I love it. It's like, no joke, I love it. Definitely recommend that. You can put that on first and it will keep these from feathering out. If you put these on alone, they are gonna feather out and kind of bleed out, which is not cute. So I definitely say use a lip liner and use a lip brush for a precise application and to not allow them to feather out. Another kind of con to these is that they are not long wearing. So you have to constantly reapply, but luckily they are comfortable and moisturizing that they're not gonna really cake up and dry up to where it's like uncomfortable and flake off if you reapply. So you can definitely reapply these throughout the day. So yeah, if I could rate these a one out of five, I would give these about a three because I love the color selections. They are very comfortable on the lips. It's just that they're not very long wearing and you have to be careful if they, that they're out. Okay, so next up we have the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. What are you called? NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. There you go. These are only $6. I ordered mine all online. I have, I think, the whole collection. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch you my favorite ones. And the first one is called Sandstorm. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. Really, really pretty right there. Super gorgeous. And the next color is called Soft Spoken. I really like this one. This is another gorgeous one. And this has more, this kind of reminds me more of a dusty rose with a little bit more brown in it. Very, very gorgeous. Again, these are only $6. I recommend these over the ColourPop ones, just to let you know. These are very comfortable on the lips. They're not patchy, but they aren't super long wearing, which is kind of like, mm. You want a liquid lipstick to be long wearing. And, and these really aren't, but I have to say that they're a good liquid lipstick for only being $6. Like they're better than the Color Pops. So I definitely recommend these ones. Definitely try out the NYX ones. Again, if you don't want to splurge on like a $20, $23 liquid lipstick, try out the NYX ones. I, I think they're really great and the price point is perfect. So I give these ones about a four out of five because they are great liquid lipstick for only $6. All right, so next up we have Sephora's and this is the cream lip stain in god I'm blind number 13 like cross-eyed in number 13 and these are only $14 at Sephora which is awesome super super awesome this shade is like heaven I swear look at it gorgeous gorgeous mauve color dusty rose very very gorgeous perfect for fall perfect for winter I love it and the good thing about these is that they are pretty semi long wearing they're not like ultra long wearing how some other ones are but these actually hold up for a long time the only bad part about these is you cannot reapply them do not reapply these liquid lipsticks from Sephora uh-uh I made that mistake I was going to dinner with my husband and I filmed for like a good like six hours during that day and when we're in the car like I kind of re reapplied it and then all of a sudden I was like god my lips feel so like like they were crumbling like it felt like I ate chips or something and I had all the crumbs on my lips and I was just like what is going on with my lips so I went and looked in the mirror and it was a disaster it was horrible and what was worse is I didn't have a napkin or anything to wipe it off because I'm like crap like I can't go to a restaurant looking like this so I had to run in the bathroom really quick and wipe the stuff off and then like kind of reapply because it already kind of stained my lips so yeah I definitely do not recommend reapplying it don't do it just do one layer and stick with it and if it starts like wearing off 
take it off and then reapply again. So that's the only bad part. But I do love their color selection. They have a great color selection. They're only $14, so they're a lot more inexpensive than a lot of other liquid lipsticks out on the market. So all in all, I had to give these about a three and a half out of five just because of that little experience that I went through. All right, so next up I have the Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge Waterproof Liquid Lip Color. These are awesome. They are only $24. Well, they're not only, they are pretty, pretty pricey. They're $24 at Sephora. And I actually really do like these because look right here. You can have what you have the lip color on this side and it will leave a matte finish. But if you put the clear gloss on the other side, it will make more of a glossy finish. So that's awesome. You get like two lip colors in one. I love that. And I have to say that again, these ones, they wear differently. I really love this one. It's shade one. So, so gorgeous. Like super gorgeous. It's a really pretty kind of grayish brown. Super gorgeous. This one wears really well, I've noticed. I can reapply it and I'll be okay. It's really pretty long wearing. I love it. But when I wear shade 14, which is another really gorgeous color, it's kind of like a very dark mauve. You can probably notice that this is one of my favorite colors <laughs> because I have them in every single brand of liquid lipstick. But that color is really gorgeous. But with number 14, you can't reapply it. It will flake, it will crumble, and it just doesn't wear as well as shade number one. So if you were gonna go and pick up the Aqua Rouge ones, I would definitely try shade one. I think you'll love it, but I definitely could tell that these wear differently. So if I had to rate these, I would give these a three and a half out of five because again, you don't know which good ones you're gonna get. All right, so now I'm gonna be talking about the Anastasia of Beverly Hills. They just look like this you know, your typical liquid lipstick packaging. These are $20 at Macy's, or if you go to AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com, you can purchase them there. So I have like majority of the fall collection. I think I have them all, but like one that I just didn't really care for. So yeah, these are really good. Let me show you my favorite shades first. Um, my favorite shades are Sepia is a gorgeous, gorgeous gray brown it's a super popular shade yep and what's awesome is that they just came out with this one in a lip gloss form too which i just bought all the lip glosses i think i'm gonna do a lip swatch video of those so stay tuned for that and then also my favorite is dusty rose because it's of course dusty rose is my favorite color and it is so wearable just to wear out and about in the day and people won't really look at you and be like oh you got a crazy lip color on so I really love Dusty Rose for that reason. I actually picked up a couple for a giveaway that I'm going to be having in November, so stay tuned. And yeah, I really love these ones. These are a great formulation. They are a little bit drying, but they are a drying, but they have that drying feeling that you can deal with, you know? There's some that are too drying that you just like, uh-uh, I'm not going to bother with this but this one is you can handle it i think well i can handle them and what's awesome about them is that the formulation is very consistent in every color i haven't found a color wearing differently than another which i really love so she really stayed consistent with each color i like thank you anastasia so yeah again these are 20 dollars. i really like them they're comfortable they're long wearing you can reapply them but honestly they're so long wearing that you won't have to i love that so if I could rate these, of course, I would rate these a five out of five. I love these. I wouldn't be buying so many of them if I didn't. Okay, so we're finally getting to the end. I only have two more brands that I'm gonna talk about and these ones are my top favorites. And first off, I'm gonna be talking about the Ofra Cosmetics. These are raved about everywhere and I have to agree with everyone about these. These are amazing. You can get them for $19.90 at OfraCosmetics.com and I'm obsessed. These have to be one of the most comfortable liquid lipsticks I have ever worn. They have a matte finish. They are so thin and lightweight on the lips. You can definitely wear them throughout the day and be comfortable. So I definitely think that these are better wearing than the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. And yeah, I love these. Let me go ahead and show you some of my favorite colors of these. The one bad thing I have to say that I still haven't seen changed on their website is that they just take pictures of it in the tube and it's not true to color. So what I did is I went to Instagram and I just kind of searched lip swatches of the colors that I wanted to purchase to kind of see the true color. So I definitely recommend doing that. So first off, the color that I love is Seo, Seo Palo. I love this one. I wear this one a ton in my videos and 
it's just a gorgeous nude. It's like the perfect nude. It's got kind of a peachy undertone to it. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this color. The next color that I absolutely love is called Laguna Beach. You'll see why. It is another really gorgeous, a dusty rose color. Really, really pretty. I love Laguna Beach. So I have to say that these are like my two like top go-to colors, but you know what? They're all my favorite. And another great thing is that the formulation is consistent. They all wear nicely, so yeah. So if I could rate these Lovely Lipsticks one out of five, I would rate them five out of five. I really, really love them. I definitely recommend them. Go pick one up. Definitely go pick up Seo Paulo or Laguna Beach. I think those are perfect shades for everyday wear. They're super comfortable. Love them. Okay, so we are finally at the end of this video and I'm about to talk about my number one favorite liquid lipstick that no one I have seen talk about this before. The reason why I have yet to talk about this liquid lipstick, I've been wanting to show it in a favorites, but I've been holding off for this video because I really wanted to surprise everyone with it because I really haven't seen anyone talk about these at all. And this is my all time favorite liquid lipstick. Yes. And that is the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro, 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 M-A-E-S-T-R-O. I absolutely love this liquid lipstick. It is super, super nice. The only down part, blah, 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 the only down part about it is that it is $34. It is very pricey, but it's worth it. No lie. When I went to go pick this one up at Sephora, there was a ton of shades gone. So the shade that I got is 500, but I think I'm gonna go on there and order more. Oh my goodness. The formulation of these are perfection. It is absolutely amazing. So first off, I'm just gonna go into a couple of the cons about this, but I can overlook it. And the first thing is that this is not like a completely matte finished liquid lipstick. It is a semi-matte liquid lipstick, so it's still got a little bit of sheen, but I think that's because it is so hydrating and so moisturizing on the lips. It's not drying at all, but it looks pretty matte on the lips. It's just not a completely matte finish, which I'm okay with because it is so comfortable and so good feeling. Like it feels amazing on the lips. I love it. Another con about it is that they aren't super long wearing. Like it's not gonna wear on your lips for like six hours, four hours. But the good thing about it is that you can reapply it and it doesn't cake up, it doesn't get flaky, it doesn't crumble, doesn't do any of that. It definitely goes over just fine when you reapply it. So I actually just keep this in my purse just like when I'm on the go. It is so comfortable. I just reapply it and I love the shade right here. Again, it's shade 500 and it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Oh my goodness, I love this shade. I really love wearing basically minimal makeup and then putting this on my lips and it just really makes me look alive and fresh looking. So I just love that. So yeah, I have to give these a five out of five. It just, again, I could rave about this forever and ever. It's just amazing, thin, lightweight, pigmented. You can reapply it, semi-matte finish. Not super long wearing, but semi long wearing. So yeah, definitely, definitely recommend these. Again, I will have all these products linked down below. So if you wanna check out any of these liquid lipsticks, you can just click the links and you will be taken there. So yeah, definitely recommend the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestros. Whew. Okay, so we finally finished this really long review of all these liquid lipstick brands. So if you stayed this long, please comment down below what your favorite brand of liquid lipstick, especially if it's something that I didn't talk about. I would love to try out your recommendations. So don't forget to comment down below what your favorite brand is. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!